I think of Jasper Johns as an icon. He's one of the greatest artists of the 20th century who's making incredible work in the 21st. It's impossible to think about contemporary art today without thinking about Jones. A poet, an explorer, someone who's breaking boundaries, challenging himself, challenging us. Jasper Jones has worked to interrogate the possibility of meaning for the last seven decades. This exhibition is an extremely ambitious project. We're basically doing a 65-year survey of the work of Jasper Johns in every medium paintings, prints, drawings, sculpture, in two sites at the same time. The show opens September 29th in Philadelphia and New York. And so immediately the idea of mirroring came to our mind because Jasper has used that as a structural device. And this became a kind of metaphor for how we would organize the exhibition. If the Whitney is a place that is so emphatically oriented towards contemporary art, Philadelphia has this incredible sweep of history. If the Whitney is a place that's focused on the art of the United States, Philadelphia covers the world. I think that by coming together, we are able to complement each other and present a fuller picture. Ideally, you'd see it in both places. Maybe you'd start in Philadelphia, jump on the train, and show up late at the Whitney, and have the kind of complete picture of John's career. What I'm hoping is that the viewer will navigate between recognition and surprise. That is the space where Jasper's work operates.